you have collaborated with a number of artists from different genres, mm -hmm. Gautier, Coldplay, Kanye West, who you mentioned before, Katy Perry. How did these collaborations come about? Well, basically they started off as a, as a remix, you know, that they listened to my tracks and they, they asked me to, to give my, my vision on their track. So it's, it's always very easy because I can only do it with the tracks I really like. So, um, yeah, I was very flattered when Kanye asked me to remix his song. And uh, the Gotye song is uh, amazing because uh, the original was a big hit. And then uh, my, my version went to number one as well in the US. And uh, that was pretty, pretty uh, fun, fun, uh, spectacular to have the same song in a different version to go to number one. You say that you can only remix songs that you like. Are there big artists out there who have approached you and you've had to say, sorry, yes. <laughs> I can't do business with you? Many. Yeah, I can't say any names though, that would be unfair. But uh, yeah, I, I get approached weekly by artists to remix. And you know, a lot of times say no, because I want to work on my own stuff. And I only want to do like, you know, nice stuff that I, that I can play, that, that helps me in my sets. You mentioned you work on your own stuff and you have four studio albums. How do you think your music has changed over the years? It changed dramatically. It's, a, it's such a big difference now, like what I play now or even five years ago. Yeah, the, the, the more quiet groove, it feels like, it feels like I'm a bottle of wine, you know? <laughs> the older I get, you know, the taste here, and it's, it's just different. And it's... The mainstream audience was introduced to your music when you remixed uh, Delirium Silence, featuring the amazing vocals of Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> That was amazing. That was one of my uh, groundbreaking moments in my career. <clears throat> you know, that track went to uh, number one in more than 40 countries. So that was a special moment. And uh, yeah, I, th I think after that, uh, I think the whole scene went more underground, actually. And it only made, I made a comeback like two years ago. So when I remix now, like Coldplay Paradise, the Gotcha remix, I feel I'm in that position again. That what Delirium did back then. Is what Coldplay and the, the Gotcha remix are doing for me now. Why do you think it went underground? Uh, basically because the radio and uh, television didn't support it at all. You know, we didn't have any support from radio and television. And now we have Twitter, Facebook. The world is so open. There's no censored uh, stuff anymore. It's, you can find anything you want, uh, music deal, internet, and that's what helped our scene a lot. <laughs> Twitter followers, 12 million Facebook friends, a huge following on YouTube. How important uh, is this to, to what you do? Um, it's very important. You know, it's, it's, uh, I love it. I love Twitter. You know, I, I try to read everything I can on Twitter because you get so much nice feedback about stuff. You know, you just put out a sentence and everybody laughs or everybody's just sending something back. And it's amazing. Same with Facebook, you know. I am love Facebook and uh, it's just it's just amazing. And YouTube, of course, as well, you know, you, you put on the video and you read the comments underneath and it's so strong nowadays. Like, uh, yeah, I'm really happy that, uh, I, that, that I'm so big in the social media world. What would be your advice to up and coming DJs? It's like becoming a famous model, you know, there's uh, millions of beautiful women out there, but what makes that one more special than the other one? It's a, it's a bit of talent, a bit of luck, a bit of dedication, hard work. And the same for DJs, you know, it's not just about being a good DJ, it's about the right music, get, uh, fight for every chance you get. You are 43 years old. How long do you see yourself uh, doing what you're doing? Can you see yourself doing this when you're 50, 60? Uh, that's a good question. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. It could be one year, it could be six months, or it could be five years. I'm very spontaneous. So I, I just play by here. It could, it could be uh, ending soon. But really? Yeah. Why is that? Well, you never know. You never know. I think if, if as soon as I don't like it anymore, I would, I would do something else. Life's too short to do something I don't like anymore. And I had the opportunity to do a lot of different stuff. So I might just change my career soon, but... Uh, 
If you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? I would be a fashion designer. Because uh, I love fashion and uh, I love to make clothes and uh, I love to dress people and you know I did uh, I just did a collaboration with Gas and we designed uh, a whole line together Paul Marciano and I <clears throat> and uh, I really like it it's, it's so much fun to do. So it's a lovely summation. Enjoy Hong Kong. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Best party. <laughs> <laughs>